drawing ray diagrams for converging lenses. Number 2. The object is placed between 1 and 2 focal lengths from a lens. Let us consider the following question. Describe the image formed by a converging lens with a focal length of 6 cm when the object is placed 8 cm from the lens. We will need to draw a ray diagram in order to fully describe the image in terms of location, orientation, whether it is real or virtual, as well as its magnification. To proceed, we first take a piece of graph paper and draw a horizontal line, cutting the paper in two. We label this horizontal line, the principal axis. Now draw in the location of the lens. When the object lies between one and two focal lengths away, the image could end up a great distance from the lens. Therefore, we will place the object to the far left of the graph paper and, hence, the lens will be placed eight centimeters to the right of the object. Draw a vertical line at this position. The lens is a converging lens, so we draw it as an up and down arrow. Some people draw in the lens itself. It makes no difference. The position of the lens is only a representation to allow us to draw the construction rays correctly. Now mark on the position of the principal focal points on either side of the lens, in this case 6 cm from the optical axis. Mark each principal focal point with a capital F. To draw the construction rays we draw three rays from the top of the object. The three rays are drawn in turn going clockwise from horizontal. Start the first ray from the top of the object. Draw an horizontal line until it reaches the optical axis. Then draw a line from that end point, passing through the focal point on the other side of the lens, and continue the ray to the end of the graph paper. Remember to add arrows to show the direction of the ray. The second ray goes from the top of the object, and is a diagonal line that goes straight through the optical center, and continues on until the end of the graph paper. Add arrows to show the direction of the ray. For the third ray, draw a line from the top of the object through the nearest focal point and continue until it reaches the optical axis. Continue this ray as a horizontal line to the right of the lens. All three lines should meet at a single point. This is where the image is in focus. Draw the image as an arrow and label it image. From the diagram, we can now find the image distance by measuring the distance from the optical axis to the image. In this case it is 24.0 cm. The image itself is upside down compared to the object. The image is said to be inverted. The image is on the opposite side of the lens to the object. So the image can be projected onto a screen. The image is, therefore, real. The image is larger than the object. It is said to be magnified. We can calculate the magnification, which is image height divided by object height. This gives a magnification of 6 divided by 2, or 3.0. At our A level, these approximate answers can be verified by use of the lens equation, by using 1 over U plus 1 over V equals 1 over F, or 1 over V equals 1 over F minus 1 over U. Substituting in the values, all in centimeters, gives 1 over 6 minus 1 over 8. This gives 1 over V equals 0 0.0416, RV equals 24.0 centimeters, hence the image is 24.0 centimeters from the the lens and is a real image. The magnification is given by M equals U over V. Substituting in the values gives M equals 24 divided by 8. This gives a magnification of 3.0. The image is magnified. The approximate graphical method therefore gives results consistent with this more rigorous approach.